You can now create non-prep composite restoration guides using a Smile Design software you can take anywhere. So today I wanna to show you my case where I created a non-prep composite injectable restoration using Smileify as a treatment plan tool. At the end of this webinar, you should be able to understand how to create facially guided mock-ups specifically for flowable direct composite restorations in your practice, how to export and 3D print mock-up models that will serve as a guide to help you perform the procedure, and to understand in simple steps the non-prep flowable composite technique. So let me introduce you to my patient. A male patient came into the clinic expressing dissatisfaction with the shape and size of his upper anterior teeth as well as the diastemas between his upper centrals. It was noted that on the right center incisor, an endodontic treatment was performed years ago, which darkened the tooth shade. Due to several trials on internal bleachings in the past, the patient was very concerned about preparing any tooth for restoration as well as any surgery that may come with the proposed treatment. So the goal was to initiate a treatment plan that would allow me to perform a no-invasive technique that would improve the overall appearance of my patient's smiles while respecting my patient's desires. So after taking clinical and complementary exams, to begin the treatment, a frontal facial picture and an upper and lower intraoral scan were taken and uploaded into the digital smile planning software called Smileify app. Then we created a digital version of this patient's face and mouth with a goal of creating a digital wax up for the proposed treatment, which in this case was a no invasive composite restoration. To begin on the treatment plan, the 3D Smile Design Planning took two steps. One was the calibration of the patient's digital files, and the second one was to select the 3D teeth and design edits to correct the patient's dissatisfactions. With an intraoral scan and photo being calibrated, I was able to fully visualize the patient's existing teeth, even though the upper lip were partially covering the cervical margins. With an intraoral scan and photo calibrated together, I am able to visually understand where my margins are and where I should go with my treatment plan. As this was an additive case, to determine the arch form, an occlusal curve line was placed on the edge of the buccal cusps of the posterior teeth and incisal edge of the incisors, with a goal of expanding the inclination of the buccal segments to give more volume and harmony to the buccal corridor area. And then we have what we call a 3D smile frame, which outlines the patient's future 3D design. Here, I can adjust its position, height, width, and midline, as well as the number of teeth for this case. For this specific case, we did from first premolar to first premolar. The reason why you use a photograph and an intraoral scan it's so you can deliver a facially guided treatment plan. By using a facial analysis that is available in Smileify application, I was able to determine the patient's facial midline by drawing a line connecting the glabella, nose bridge, philtrum, and chin. This allowed me to establish harmony and balance between the facial structure and the current dental midline. Additionally, the interpupillary line was determined for parallelism analysis in conjunction with the intercommissural line to guide me on the current position of the patient's occlusal plane from a frontal view, which helped me align the teeth better according to the facial landmarks. Now that you have done your facial analysis, you have uh, set the teeth proportions and select the teeth designs for your treatment plan, you can use different views of the 3D project that allows you to move the tooth and have a better visual reference of its position from different angles. 
So here, or you can check if the tooth is too buccal, too lingual, or if it's tilted to one side or the other, or if it's following this myocurvature that you desire. Once proper shape, position, and form were selected and adjusted, I went into the final stage of a 3D design, which is called Mesh Editor. A Mesh Editor is a freehand digital wax-up made to help the designer check on contouring of the teeth design, contact points, the thickness of the restoration, and it also allows you to add or remove excess of the design prior to printing. The benefits is that you reduce chair side time when performing the restorations as you are already preventing those mistakes digitally first. Smileify provides many different export options that go from exporting the digital wax up as a solid model or provisional shells or single tooth files, as well as the injected mock-up technique files. To export the files before sending to the printer, the injected mock-up technique files were selected and two models were printed. One based on a wax up of every other tooth and the second one a model with the complete dental wax up. That way, you will do half of the work all together, then you will do the other half of the work, reducing the overall chair side time. On the patient's second visit, we decided to do a mock-up trial prior to delivering the fine restorations. We created a silicone index and with a bisacryl, we applied the mock-up on a patient's mouth for his myo trial. Due to the root canal that the patient had previously, we decided to use a lighter shade on that tooth to match with the other restoration. Once approved by the patient, we then removed the dental mock-up and started with the actual treatment. A cleaning with pumice and water was performed to clean the dental surface and increase the adhesion to the new resurfaces. We then isolated the teeth using Teflon tape to protect the teeth and the non-isolated teeth were etched with 37.5 phosphoric acid SAM gel for 15 seconds and gently air dried for 5 seconds. It was then washed, dried, adhered and light cured for 3 seconds. The transparent index was then placed into the patient's mouth and held firmly while the Flobo composite resin was injected through the access hole of the incisal edge, filling the entire surface. The same step was performed on the other teeth. As the matrix was held, each composite restoration was light cured through the clear resin matrix for 20 seconds on the facial and 20 seconds on the occlusal lingual surface. The transparent index was then taken out and the excess flesh was removed with a blade instrument. The Teflon tape of the adjacent teeth were removed while a final metal finishing strip was used to create space in the interproximal area. I used a cylinder round and burr to inspect not only the emergency profile but also the interface for marginal integrity during the gingival retraction in order to give a more natural and anatomic facial contour of the buccal surface. All teeth were properly polished to increase the longevity of the final restorations. As you can see, no adjustments were made um, to the buccal anatomy, only small polishment and finishing. The occlusal bite and guidelines were then checked to ensure that the final results were functional, harmonic, and aesthetic pleasing. This case was done in only two consultations, and it was possible because we used this MyFi platform. We created and delivered a facially guided treatment plan to our patients. So I have an invitation to give you. I want to invite you to come into one of our courses so you can also perform the same workflow and other procedures using the Smilefy platform. So simply come into our website or have a consultation with one of our integration consultants to find the best course for you. Thank you for having interest in my case. 
and I hope to see you in one of our SmileFi courses.